Everyone, thank you for tuning in to Mike MD. The heart of your vehicle's charging system is the alternator. And I'm about to show you what's inside. So this here is what they call an alternator. It's in charge of your charging system in your vehicle. It's actually the heart of your vehicle electrical system. And what it does is it turns rotational energy into electricity. Okay, now I get the pulley off. So there's a belt on the front of the engine that drives this pulley, which turns everything. As you can see here. All right, so your main power cord of the car is gonna come off of here. It's, this is where all the electricity comes out of. And right here is the diodes. This is what converts the direct current to alternating current. Alternating current is like what you have in your house. Uh, direct current is like what you have in a little battery in your remote control for your TV. And right here is a voltage regulator. Sometimes the voltage goes up and down, and what this guy does is keep it stable. All right, so here's the voltage regulator, and inside are these little brushes that ride on these little copper rings right here. And that's what transfers the power from this unit to the voltage regulator. Pretty cool. All right, here's the little diodes. What a diode is, is it lets electricity go in one way but not come back out the other. It can also be used for other things as well. In this case, it's used for converting direct current into alternating current. All right, let's take this housing apart. My favorite tool didn't work. Let's try a screwdriver. There it is. I see it. Come on. Right. I'm not returning this, so I can destroy it. Ooh. One more. Some more diodes in here. All right, will you come off now? Let's see. Guys, I haven't had one of these apart in a long time, probably UTI days, back in 02. All right, so here's a bearing, and here's a little cooling fan to help cool everything as the rotor spins. Right here is the stator. This is what converts some of the uh, rotational energy into here, which transfers it to the diodes. Let's get this thing out here. No, it doesn't want to come out. All right, when all fails, get a bigger hammer, right? Oof, there it is. So this is what the inside of the stator looks like. Bunch of wiring in there. Pretty cool. I don't think I can take it out. I think it's kind of glued in. 
So guys, this here is what they call a rotor. So, correction earlier, electricity from the actual car battery goes straight to these two guys, which inside of here, you can't really see, but with these fingers, there's a bunch of wire wrapped around. So when the battery voltage is applied here, what it does is turn this thing into a, basically a very strong magnet. And when it rotates inside of this housing, inside the stator, the rotational magnetic fields excite the stator coil and the voltage is collected. These are three of these, so it's a three phase alternator. And it comes through here and that's when it goes into all the uh, little electrical components we talked about earlier. Pretty cool. The most common failure on these things is usually either a bearing, which makes, a, makes all kinds of noise, or the voltage regulator will go bad on them. But usually by the time the voltage regulator goes bad, this thing is already really old and you might as well either replace it, but if you're gonna sell the car soon, um, you can rebuild it, you can have it rebuilt. Uh, but on these cars, like say for example, this is out of a, v of a BMW M6 and it's just one of those things where it's probably best just to put a, a, a whole new unit in it. If you, especially if you have a car like that, you can afford to put a new alternator in it. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like more videos like this, please like and subscribe and hit the little bell in the corner. Happy motoring to you.